The suspected gunman in the LGBTQ nightclub shooting in Colorado over the weekend faces murder and possible hate crime charges. Five people were killed in that shooting. A dozen others were injured. We now want to go to CBS correspondent Marissa Armas. She joins us live from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Marissa. Jim Marie, we've been out here at this makeshift memorial for several hours and dozens of people continue to stop by dropping off flowers and balloons. Obviously a very somber day for this community. Many people telling us that they don't think they can ever come back to this nightclub. A memorial outside Club Q in Colorado Springs is growing. A safe space now shattered after a gunman opened fire Saturday night. I don't, I don't know where to go now. It's probably going to take a long time for us to even be able to feel safe out there anymore. And Police say 22 year old Anderson Lee Aldridge walked into Club Q Saturday and immediately began shooting with the long rifle, killing five people and wounding more than a dozen others. Patrons were able to subdue him until police arrived. The, all we heard was just him kind of gradually going through the club and just shooting as he was kind of like walking. It was almost like target practice really Form. The suspect was arrested on five murder charges and five charges of committing a bias motivated crime, according to records obtained by the Associated Press. The DA's office says it's still reviewing the case before filing formal charges. On the surface, it sure, certainly has the uh, trappings of a hate crime. Investigators executed search warrants Sunday and scrubbed the suspect's social media accounts to see what kind of statements he made to other people. As the community mourns victims and rallies around survivors, Colorado Springs mayor is drawing a line in the sand. We are intent on ensuring that the actions of one lone uh, male, uh, regardless of what his motivations were, are not reflective of our community and don't define our community. The flag at the state capitol is flying at half staff in memory of the lives lost. Now here in Colorado, several vigils are being planned across the state to honor those victims. We are expected to get an update from police on this investigation in about 30 minutes. Jim Marie. Marissa, thank you so much.